Hey everybody, I'm Scott with BitsBox. Around here we get a lot of interesting questions from kids all over the world who are coding apps. One of them that we got recently was along the lines of how do I make a guinea pig eat a T-Rex? So today I'm going to show you. So first of all, if you don't already, you need to go to BitsBox.com and you need to sign in or click get started and uh, you're going to get a tablet, but I'm going to assume you know all of that stuff. We're going to build an app. So first thing I need to make an app where a guinea pig eats a T-Rex is to create that app. You do that by clicking this star in the corner, and then you click invent your own app. All right, so here we are, empty app, no code. First thing is let's give it a title. My guinea pig eat my T-Rex. Excellent. And the first thing we need in this app is we need some place for this scene to occur. You can click this assets thing. It looks like two little boxes up in the corner and go to the fills and you will see hundreds of different places that you could have this scene play out. One of my favorites is this great state of Maine. Let's do it there. So I am going to add a fill of Maine. I hit the run button, you can see, welcome to Maine. Now we need our characters. So I'm going to say pig equals stamp guinea pig. And what this does is it adds an adorable guinea pig to the screen, and it assigns the result of that command into a variable. This variable could be named anything. It could be p, if you like really short variables. It does the same thing. We'll use pig because it's not very long and hard to type, but is more meaningful than just a single letter. And we're going to put this pig up in the corner. So to position a stamp in BitsBox, you have to add two numbers, the X and the Y position. And you can see as I move my cursor over the screen, above my cursor, there is an X value that starts at zero all the way down here on the left and goes all the way over to 768 on the right. If you don't know why it's 768, go ask your parents if they do. And then the Y at the end goes from zero at the very top of the Y all the way down to 1024, 1024 on the bottom. And using those two numbers, we can position our guinea pig anywhere. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna put him right by the sign over here. So I put my cursor there so I can see them, and then you can see my cursor is still blinking over on the right. I've got my arrow cursor for my mouse, and I've got my text cursor for where I'm typing. So I can type comma 688 comma 322, hit run. There, now I've moved my the center of my guinea pig over to that corner. The third number that you can pass into any stamp tells us its size. So I'm going to say 100 pixels in size. So now I've got this cute little guinea pig. Now I need a T-Rex. I looked earlier before I started the video, so I happen to know that there is a dinosaur T-Rex uh, that is called Dinosaur Dino Soar 2. There's my dinosaur. So now I have a guinea pig and a dinosaur. And if we want the pig to eat the dinosaur, I imagine that probably we want the pig to move, the guinea pig to move wherever we tap. That sounds like a fun app. So to tell us what happens in BitsBox when you tap is you type the word function and the special magical function name of tap. And then there's these two parentheses here, which are about something called parameter passing in computer programming that we'll get to in another video. So just leave those there and ignore them for now. And then we have two curly brackets that look like two mustaches. And this first mustache is the beginning of the function and this is the end of it. And whatever is between the two of them is the code, the lines of code that will happen when we tap. So for example, if I take these two lines of code where we add our dinosaur and our guinea pig, and I put them inside this function. So in other words, between the two mustache characters, and I hit run, you'll notice that at the moment, the stamps don't exist because those two lines of code only run every time we tap. So as soon as I tap the screen now, 
Now those two lines of code run. But we're going to go back. We're going to put this up here. Instead, when we tap, we're going to have the guinea pig move. Now, every stamp that you assign into a variable like this has a whole bunch of commands that you can do specifically on that stamp. We call them dot commands because they are separated from the variable name by a dot. So for example, I could do pig.move. And let's say every time I tap, I wanted the pig to move where my mouse is over here. 180, 294. So this command, I hit run. We, we go, uh, and whenever we hit run, we start over. So we fill the screen with main, we stamp a guinea pig, we stamp a dinosaur, and we declare what happens whenever the tap happens, which is that the pig is going to move to a new XY position. So wait for it, I click, and the guinea pig moves. Now, of course, as I'm clicking, the guinea pig just keeps moving to that same position, which isn't terribly interesting for this app. So we're going to replace those two numbers with two variables that are always predefined for you uh, inside functions like tap. And those are a variable called x and a variable called y. And those represent the spot on the screen where you've tapped. So now if I click here, and wherever I tap, you can see my guinea pig now moves to that xy position. Every time I tap, the lines between the two mustaches are run and the X and the Y represent a different number every time, provided I tap in a different spot. Great, I've got a moving guinea pig. However, that seems too easy for us to get to our dinosaur, because I just click here and he would eat him. And uh, I think I'm going to add a third number to my move command, which is how many milliseconds it takes for that to occur. 1,000 milliseconds is equal to one second. So by adding this third parameter here, now when I tap, it takes exactly one second for my guinea pig to chase to that XY position. Now this is getting a little more interesting. Okay. All right. Now, the challenge was, how do I get a guinea pig to eat a T-Rex? We now have a moving guinea pig, but we need to make him do something with the T-Rex when he gets there. So I'm going to add a loop function to our computer program. In Bitsbox, you're going to see a lot of these loop functions. Loops exist in every programming language. And in Bitsbox, we've predefined another one of these magic functions, just like tap occurs every time you tap on the screen. Anything between the two mustaches of the loop command, or the loop function, occur 20 times a second. So think of it like an airplane doing the loop-to-loop -loop 20 times a second. And every time the airplane gets to the top of the loop, boom, that means make that code happen again. So this is a really good way for us to test things over and over and over again, such as, is it time for my guinea pig to eat my T-Rex? So here I'm going to add an if function that says if pig dot hits the dino. And you'll see that I've declared an if statement, which is a test to see if something is true or not. And then I've got my guinea pig. And we've got a second one of these dot commands. This dot command is called hits. And it's a testing command that looks to see if the pig has hit, in this case, the dinosaur. And if it does, it's going to say yes, and any code between the two braces of the if statement are going to be run. If not, they're not. And just to make it simple, we're going to say dino.explode. This is the third dot command that we've talked about, but it's the first one we've called on the dinosaur. The dinosaur and the pig are both types of stamps. And so they share all the same dot commands that can be called in them. So in this case, we're going to have the dino explode if this condition is true. So let's run it and see what it looks like. So I'm going to click. You can see my guinea pig rushed through my dinosaur. And as soon as he touches the dinosaur, boom, the dinosaur is toast. Let's make this maybe slightly more like eating, because exploding doesn't seem very eating-like to me. 
So let's say if it hits the dino, this, the dino is going to change in size. We're going to make the dinosaur 10 pixels over 200 milliseconds. So actually, let's get rid of the 200 first and just talk about the, the size. So we saw explode, which makes it explode. We've seen move, which makes things move. Size, as you might expect, changes how big the stamp is on the screen. So dino dot size of 10. Now when I touch, boom, he instantly is 10 pixels, which is so small that I don't even know if you can see that in the video. I can barely see it on my screen. So let's make him not that small. Let's make the dinosaur go to 50. And now, as soon as he cooks, boom, the dinosaur goes down to 50, which is now small enough to fit inside the guinea pig's belly. So we're going to do that. We're going to have the pig, the, the guinea pig is going to get bigger. He is currently size 100. We're going to say he gets to 150. And finally, we are going to move him to the front. So now if my guinea pig hits the dinosaur, three things are going to happen. The dinosaur is going to get small, pow. The pig is going to get big, and the pig is going to move to the front of the of the stack of all of the stamps that we have on the screen. So now when I click, he comes over and broom, he fills up and he has now eaten the Tyrannosaurus Rex. This is a pretty good app. I'd be happy to share this with somebody. To do that, I can click this little share button in the corner. And you can click this email button to send an email to somebody you think would enjoy it. If you have a mobile device like an iPad, with a QR scanner, you could zap this QR code here to run the app on your tablet. And finally, here's this thing here, which is the URL to the entire thing. You could just grab that guy at any time. Okay, finishing touch. Let's make a really cool icon for our app. So you click the icon in the editor to bring up the editing tool for the icons. And to draw your own icons in Bitsbox, you have to write code. And so I'm going to fill the screen with me, I'm going to stamp a guinea pig. Okay. And there's our beautiful guinea pig against the beautiful starry night of Maine. And my, the guinea pig ate my T-Rex is now installed on our tablet. Thanks so much for checking out this incredibly important coding topic. If you have any questions at all, you can always reach us via email at help at bitsbox.com. Thanks.